with Halloween just around the corner, I was thinking, where can I go that's got some atmosphere? And somewhere not too far from home, because I'm just on my own for this one. And then it came to me, do you remember during the Northeast 250 video, when we stopped by New Slane's Castle? What a perfect place for a Halloween spooktacular. So here we are in Cruden Bay in the northeast of Scotland. I've even got my tent with me, so let's go and get that pitched and see if I can last the night in the ruins of this Scottish castle. It's been raining all afternoon, but thankfully that's just cleared in time. We've got about an hour till sunset now and we're left with this beautiful evening. There's a few bugs about though. Right, let's get this tent set up. That's the tent up and there's still a wee bit of light left in the sky, so let's go and explore this castle. Bram Stoker himself spent a lot of time up in these parts and he was invited to the castle many times. And it's said that the castle is part of the inspiration for Dracula's castle in the novels. Now it's also said to be haunted by Victor Hay, who was the 21st Earl of Errol. Earl of Errol, that's easy for me to say. And there's also been sightings here of World War II soldiers and horses and carriages. Let's see what shows up tonight. The castle is on the very edge of a terrible precipice. A stone falling from the window would fall a thousand feet without touching anything. As far as the eye can reach is a sea of green treetops, with occasionally a deep rift where there is a chasm. Here and there are silver threads where the rivers wind in deep gorges through the forests. But I am not in heart to describe beauty, for when I had seen the view I explored further, doors, doors, doors everywhere, and all locked and bolted, in no place save from the windows and the castle walls is there an available exit. The castle is a veritable prison, and I am the prisoner. It's just a lovely place to walk around, especially in the light and the golden hour. I would normally be a wee bit scared in here, but I'm not afraid of no ghost. The sun's about to go down, so I'm just going to take this opportunity while there's still a wee bit of light to go into the castle and explore.
This place is amazing, but I just haven't seen anything out of the ordinary yet. When it gets dark here, your senses just come alive and you start to hear things that are clearly just a figment of your imagination, but at the time, they feel very real. It might just be my eyes playing tricks on me, but you know when you think you see something out of your peripheral vision? This place is scary, I'm getting out of here. Hey! Okay, I've made it back to the tent, but I swear that thing is following me. It's about 20 minutes later now and I've calmed down a lot but the weather hasn't calmed down, it's still windy out there but I think that's what it was tonight, I was just hearing the wind and my mind was a bit playing tricks with me so I'm going to settle down now for a nice comfortable night and I hope you have a good night too thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again Happy Halloween!